every three seconds. Are you ready? Please follow me. One, two, one, two, one, two. Every three seconds, a person in the world needs blood. The good news is that a single drop of blood can help save someone's life. Today, I am going to discuss the importance of donating blood and or volunteering your time at the San Diego Blood Bank. Good morning, honored guests, staff, senior class of 2016, and Director Rivera. My name is Estrella Diaz. Welcome to my senior talk. <laughs> Our blood can save lives. Our blood donation it's an amazing gift for those who need it. Let me introduce you to Alexis. Alexis needs blood transfusions every four weeks to help her stop from suffering a stroke due to her sickle cell disease. Alexis was diagnosed with sickle cell anemia when she was a baby and had her first blood transfusion at the age of two. Her little sister, Georgia Rose, also has the illness. When you have sickle cell, you have a low immune system. Even a cold, can trigger a crisis. She hasn't had a crisis since she started her blood transfusions. The transfusions take up to two to four hours. We need your help. Imagine if everyone who was eligible to donate blood donated. Many lives, including that of Alexis would be safe. Yes, there are many reasons why people don't donate blood. One of the things that keep people from donating blood is a misunderstanding of the requirements. In truth, there are few things that may prevent an otherwise healthy person from donating blood. Now, here are some common reasons why people don't donate blood. Reason number one, I'm afraid of needles. For many, the hardest part about deciding to donate blood is overcoming the fear of the needle stick. The actual drawing process should cause very little, if any, discomfort. The fingerprint during the interview process is usually the only discomfort encountered by a blood donor. Reason number two, my blood type is not in demand. Blood centers often run short of types O, A, and B blood. If all donors donated at least twice a year, it would help prevent blood shortages. Reason number three. I'm afraid of being turned down.
There are many reasons why people don't donate blood. Some of these reasons are permanent, while many others are only temporary. The criteria of blood donation is constantly changing, meaning if you were turned down in the past to donate blood, you may now be eligible to donate. Reason number four. Don't take too much blood and I'll feel weak. Did you know that blood makes up about 7% of your body's weight? The average adult has 10 pints of blood in his or her body. Immediately after your blood donation, you will be asked to take a few moments in our canteen area, where you will be served refreshments, cookies, and other snacks. This will help replenish the sugars and liquids in your body and will help us ensure that you're feeling well after your donation. Reason number five, I'm too busy. If you, a family member, a coworker, a neighbor, or a friend were in need of a blood transfusion, would you want to hear this as an excuse? Donating blood is safe and easy and takes less than an hour. One blood donation can help save three lives. Before my journey, Before my journey at my service, with this service learning experience, I never really considered the importance of donating blood. I am generally someone who enjoys helping others. And to know that by donating blood, I would be saving someone's life makes suffering less pain worthwhile. I have been volunteering for the past 15 weeks at San Diego Blood Bank. On January 26th was my volunteer orientation, where I met the volunteer coordinator, Leslie Egan, who went over my job as a canteen host and my responsibilities as a volunteer. For those who are wondering, what a canteen host is, let me explain. A, a canteen room is a place in the donor center where donors sit, relax, and wait, either before or after their donation. As a canteen host, it is my job to monitor the donor's reaction after their donation. We engage donors into conversation and make them feel welcome and thanked for deciding to donate blood. Walking in, the staff were very friendly and made you feel welcome right away. The volunteer orientation was not very long, but it was impactful and informative. The part that I enjoyed the most was talking and getting to know all the people walking in the San Diego blood bank. One thing that stood out was the dedication some people had to donating blood. I'm talking about the avid donors, the people that donated gallons of blood. Seeing people from my community take the time to come in and donate blood 
inspired me to donate blood myself. My experience helped me realize the, imp the importance of donating. It's about saving people's lives. It's about giving people a second chance to life, which is rare. It was my turn. Let me tell you about my experience with donating blood. For those who are wondering the process, please imagine this. I entered the San Diego Blood Bank located on Gateway Drive by Costco. My heart was raising. My palms were sweating. And the thought of the needle inserting my right arm gave me chills. I walked up to the receptionist who provided me with an informational packet and questionnaires. After I was done, she asked me to wait a few minutes in the canteen area. I heard my name. I followed the nurse into a small office where she took my temperature, my pulse, and tested my iron level and my hemoglobin. After, I followed her through this small, bright hallway, which eventually led to the donation room. She asked me to take a seat in a chair. She inserted the needle into my right arm. It felt like a small pinch. They made me feel welcome like at home. They constantly kept asking me if I needed anything, from liquids to snacks. It was a pleasant experience. But I didn't want to stop there. No, no, no. What better way than to include my GPA family than to host our very first GPA blood drive here. On May 3rd, we hosted our very first GPA blood drive on campus. It was the day our GPA family came together to donate and save lives. For many, it was their first time donating. This, the Bloodmobile staff were very welcoming. They arrived promptly at 7.30 a.m. But the blood drive didn't start until 8 a.m. sharp. I was assigned a job. My job was to greet all of the amazing GPA staff and students and provide them with an informational packet and questionnaires. It felt great to see my community come together for a good cause. A total of 25 GPA staff members donated blood. Like I mentioned before, one pint saves three lives. A total of 75 lives were saved on May 3rd. It was an amazing day here at GPA. We saved so many lives. 
I now would like to show you a two minute video showcasing my volunteer experience at the San Diego Blood Bank and hosting our very first GPA blood drive. Please enjoy. It truly has been an amazing experience volunteering at the San Diego Blood Bank. One thing that surprised me was the amount of people that attempted to donate blood, but couldn't. Out of the 35 people that signed up, only 10 were eligible. Many people see others attempting to donate, which makes them think that they're not needed. But in reality, they do not know that some of those people are not eligible. If you add these people to others that don't choose to donate because of various of reasons, the result is that blood banks are not getting as much blood as they need. Like I mentioned before, one blood, one pint of blood saves three lives. Thank you. This, con this concludes my senior talk.